good food. Today we're going to be making you some uh, pigs in the blanket. Now, from up north, we called pigs in the blanket. Other people start calling them um, cabbage rolls. Cabbage rolls, and then they start making pigs in the blanket with the the, the hot dog oh, wrapped in the dough stuff. And when we grew up, pigs in the blanket were basically cabbage rolls. Northeast. Northeast. East. East, up, 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 up yonder. Up a U.S. <laughs> so, anyway, today we're going to be making you our version of pigs in the blanket or cabbage rolls. So, what we're going to do for you today is going to make about 8 to 10 uh, of the rolls. And first what you want to start with, you want to get a nice cabbage. You want to break off about 8 to 10 leaves. Uh, you want to put them on a tray, put them in the uh, freezer, not the, oven. not the oven, the freezer, overnight, and instead of boiling them, putting them in the freezer and letting them freeze and then letting them thaw will make them nice and pliable. You don't have to cook them forever in a day and cook all the flavor out of the cabbage. Actually, it's, it leaves most nutrients in the cabbage, which is good. Okay, so you want to start 8 to 10 in the freezer overnight. Bam! Bam! And then bring them out and let them thaw. Okay. Um, you want to start first with a uh, quarter cup of minced white onions. Uh, one tablespoon of minced garlic that you get in a jar. Okay. Uh, one teaspoon of butter and about uh, two tablespoons of beer. You want to saute this. Now, our, our parents never sautéed it. They just put it... Right in the, right, right, I right, in the, right in the thing. <laughs> <laughs> but we saute ours. Take it off the heat. Make sure it's cold because if you mix it with the next ingredients, we're gonna tell you there's egg in it. It's gonna cook the egg. So make sure. So they're very disappointed right now. We're very disappointed. In us. <laughs> so make sure that gets nice and cold. And uh, anyway, while that's cooling off, I'm gonna tell you what the uh, the ingredients is for the filling for your cabbage rolls oh, with our picks in the blanket. Yeah. Okay, it's uh, one and a half pounds of ground chuck. Uh, we used about an 80-20 blend. Okay, um, you want to use a quarter cup of uh, spaghetti sauce, whatever kind you like, whoever brand you, it's all up to you. Quarter cup of beer, a cup of uh, minute rice, one large egg, a quarter a teaspoon of majorum, yeah. and a, a majorum, and a couple dashes of paprika. Now you got to have that paprika in there because that just pulls the whole thing together. <laughs> <laughs> a little salt and pepper to taste. <laughs> we used about a quarter teaspoon. It's up to you, and a quarter teaspoon of uh, onion powder. Okay. So after your <laughs> after your after your onions and garlic have cooled down. You want to put all your ingredients in a, in a large bowl. Mix it all together. You sure do. You sure do. <laughs> yeah, I think I get everything. You want to mix it in a large bowl. And then on a tray, you want to make uh, balls out of it so that they're all even. <laughs> okay. Uh, that way, at the end, you don't have the first one's giant, the last one you got two pieces of rice and a little bit of hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> ground shot. You don't want that. So portion it out for how many that you're going to make. Okay. And um, <laughs> I'll be right back. We're going to show you. I'm going to start making you some of these and showing you how it's it's all done. You stick around. You watch gluey spoon food. These are glueys. Pigs in the blanket. You're going to love it. See you in a little bit. No one style. No one style. <laughs> okay, so what you want to do is you want to see how you see how the, the this is pretty much pliable is what you're going to get if you if you you know boil it for two hours. You want to take that middle uh, rib out of your oh watch yourself oh don't cut me there don't cut you there you want to take that middle rib out you don't want that in what you want to do is you want to take a nice helping of your Oh, look at that. Oh, that's And that's, that's about what it is. That's what it's going to look like. 
And you want to take that and you would just kind of want to make a football out of it, pretty much. And you want to stick it right in the middle here. Okay. You want to take your sides, take your sides up over the top here. And wrap this side over this way. You want to wrap this side over this way. And what you want to do is you want to just put the wrap side down right inside your pan. Look at that, no toothpicks needed. No toothpicks needed. I'm going to do you another one again. You take that middle heavy rib out. Because that's going to take like a thousand years to cook. Don't want that. You don't want that. No, you don't want that. And if you have any tears, Actually, what you can do is if you have any tears and we have a piece over here, just take another piece of cabbage, lay over it. And since I have a little tear here, I've got a piece of cabbage that we use for another one. You just want to tear some off. Boom, you cover that tear there up. There you go. It's like, it's like, you know. Magic. It's magical. Again, take your ball, make a little football out of it. It's almost football season, isn't it? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I hope so. <laughs> Again, over the top, sides over, bottom over, roll that that way. Oh. Uh, Put it in your Like pan. a little cabbage burrito. Like a little cabbage burrito. The last one, I've already taken the, the stem out of it or the rib. And this is pretty much easy. Once you start your cabbage the night before in the freezer, this goes pretty quick. Wrap that over the top there. Akuzi. That means just like this. Thank you. For those who don't know Akuzi. Akuzi. You want to sip it? And the last one goes in. There we go. Don't need this piece of cabbage. Nope. Compost. We're going to throw that out to the birds and the squirrels and what other animals may be roaming the ground. And always wash your hands after, you know, the, using any kind of raw meat. I'm going to set this in here. I'm going to set this in here. Look at that. Just like that. Set that there. Have a little drink of our crayon of beer. Oh, I'm zooming in on that one right mm. there. Uh-huh. Gotcha. That's good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our remaining jar of sauce. And we're going to just put oh, it look at that. over the top. That's beautiful. That's great. Mm-hmm. And what we're going to do is... Ooh, I don't know. We're going to put about a, the rest of our beer in. You need that for you need what? The you need the moisture because the rice has not cooked. So the rice is going to be sucking up all this moisture. And we already preheated our oven to about 350, so the oven's not getting nice and hot here. Oh, excuse me. Oh. So I'm going to pour this all over the top of this. Oh. That's fancy. That's fancy. Mm-hmm. There we go. Let me just get a spoon here real quick. Just kind of even that this out a little bit. Smooth this out here. Get this all taken care of. Okay. Just gonna hit the top with a little salt and pepper. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pop some pepper on this bad boy. Oh yeah. Isn't this fun? I like the pepper. You having fun yet? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. No, I am. <laughs> we got that going on now. We always have fun. What you want to do next is take some plastic wrap and we're gonna cover this and seal. This is in all that steam and the juice and it's going to steam all that flavor right in. Don't worry about the plastic wrap melting. 
Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to cover it with aluminum foil. That keeps the plastic wrap from melting. As long as you're not above 500 degrees, plastic wrap will not melt. As long as you seal it tight with the aluminum foil, and that's what we're going to do. So let me find where the end of this is here. Here you go again. Yeah. There you go. Look at that. And my fingers never left my hand. Oh, look at that. I love plastic wrap. It sticks to everything but what you want it to stick to. I'm going to set that right over top there. Oh, hey. Here we go. Huh? Huh. Set that over the patient. There's some ice right over top of this. We're going to be cooking this for about an, an hour or so. And I'd say after about 45 minutes, you might want to check it. Make sure if you need more moisture, if you see that it's because uh, the rice will suck up this moisture. If you see that it needs more moisture, you can add in some V8 juice. You can add some stock, uh, more spaghetti sauce, water, or beer. I would suggest adding either beer or V8 personally, but that's to your liking. And again, don't worry about the beer. What'd you do the foil, man? That must be coarse again. I don't know. <laughs> I think I was playing hockey with it. <laughs> Nobody see me? You can't prove it. Can't prove it. Can't prove it. There we go. So again, you want to put this on nice and tight. Cover that plastic. Cover that plastic up. Seal that in there. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now we got problems. Here we, here we go. The Chiefs here. Here we go. What up, though? What up, no? See if I can... What? Oh, oh there she is. She ain't gonna talk to me. What? 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 Okay, anyway. All right, back we got up. This covered up. There we go. We're gonna pop this in the oven for about an hour. Like I said, we're gonna check it in about 45 minutes. These are uh, Gluey's uh, Pigs in the Blanket or uh, Cabbage Wraps, whatever you want to call them. But I'm gonna put this in the oven. You stick with us. Uh, we'll be back as soon as these are done. You're gonna love these. Great meal, and it's easy to make. Stick with us. We'll be right back. Hey, we're back. Our uh, pigs in the blanket are done. You got a good picture of it here. I'll show you what it looks like. Isn't that beautiful? That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. And where do we make this? Huh? Well, it, the, we, this is a northern kind of thing. I know pigs in the blankets for some people are those hot dogs wrapped in dough and put in the oven, but these are what we call pigs in the blanket. We come from the northern part where the Italians call it the upper U.S. So. <laughs> What we is is what we is. <laughs> what we is is what we is. But this is Gluey's Pigs in the Blanket. It's just um, onions, uh, some minute rice with some herbs, some ground chuck wrapped in uh, leaves of the cabbage. Cabbage. Tomato sauce, beer. We cooked it for about an hour. Uh, we took the top off. Uh, we had, needed to add more because that, that rice just sucks that, that uh, moisture out. And we cooked it probably about another hour or so, about an hour or, or about two hours, maybe two and a half, depending on your oven. Just make sure that your um, cabbage. cabbage is nice cabbage. and tender, but you don't want it mushy. You don't want to have a little texture to it. And this is what it is. I'm going to dig into this right now because this is really good. So, you're watching Gluey's Mood Fest. This is, this is our version of Pace in the Blanket. We hope you enjoyed it. I know I'm going to enjoy it. We'll see you again real soon. Visit us on, on YouTube. Visit us on Facebook, Pinterest, LinkedIn, down the street. Go to the post office. Our picture is down there too. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Ciao. Stop the bone. Stop the bone.